Dressmaking and Tailoring Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Dressmaking and Tailoring, Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Lesson 4. Our topic is Identifying Sewing Tools and Equipment. Sewing Tools and Equipment Sewing tools are instruments that aid in accomplishing a sewing task. These are those which don't require the use of electricity. These are used manually or by hand. Sewing equipment is needed for sewing which aid in construction of garments of good quality and appearance. These are those which require the use of electricity such as sewing machine. Sewing kit. It is a small package containing items such as threads, pins, needles, and other items that are used when you need to sew something. Classification of sewing tools and materials. Measuring tools. Measuring tools are instruments used for obtaining quantities, dimension, or forces of real-world objects. They are also tools used to differentiate distances on a particular materials or objects. The first example of the measuring tool is the tape measure. It is also known as tape line. It is made of non-stretchable strip used in taking body measurements. It measures 150 centimeters in the front side and 60 inches on the other side. Next is the sewing gauge. It is a small ruler with a sliding guide and is about 6 inches long. It is used to measure small hem areas and short distances like hem folds, pleats, seam allowance, buttonholes, and tucks. Next is the ruler. This is the most common measuring device, usually 12 inches long. It is used for general marking. It aids in connecting lines. The next measuring tool is the yardstick. It is used for general marking and for measuring fabric grain line when laying out the pattern. This is a 1 meter long wooden stick and it's used to measure fabric length by yard or meter. The next classification of sewing tools are the cutting tools. Cutting tools are implements used for cutting. These are instruments that serve well if properly maintained. They should not be used for other household tasks. They must be sharpened regularly and the joints are oiled occasionally for better use. In other words, they should be kept in good working order for periodic sharpening. Sharp cutting tools make clean cuts and well-defined notches, and they do not damage fabric. On the other hand, dull tools slow the cutting process and make your hand and wrist tire easily. An example of cutting tools are the shears. These are for cutting fabric, paper, and other materials. Cutting shears. It has a blades that are straight and best for cutting fabrics, usually 7 to 12 inches long. Pinking shears. It has a zigzag edge used to cut the edge of seam allowance of fabric. It is used for cutting decorative materials. Scalloping shears. It is a tool that has scallop blades used to cut parts of garments with series of uniform scallops.
Another example of cutting tools are the trimming scissors. These are 3 to 4 inches long used for trimmings, clipping threads, and snipping slashes. Next are the buttonhole scissors. These are intended for making buttonholes. Next are the seam reaper. This tool is intended for cutting off or ripping out stitches from seam either as a result of an error or during alterations. Next are the embroidery scissors. It is a sharp pointed scissors, usually 4 to 5 inches long, used in cutting fine delicate cloth and thread in embroidery work. Thread Clipper. It is a handy, little spring-loaded cutting tool that allows for the snipping of threads. Next is the Rotary Cutter and Mat. These are used for the garment industry. It works like a pizza cutter and can be used by left or right hand sewers. It works on a cutting mat to protect the blade and the cutting surface. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.